Just west of University Stadium, down along the railroad tracks, is where Bobby Santiago grew up. Running along those tracks and playing on the streets of the East San Jose and Borelos neighborhoods, he developed the agility and other skills that would later serve him so well on the football field. I was fast being shifty, you know, and not fast like if I ran 100 against a lot of guys, I didn't always come in first. When he got up to university, you know, they all said, to, well, Bobby, he's not big enough to play. And he became an All-American. And I think that is really something that's great for the community, that a young man could come from Albuquerque High, not blessed with the greatest size, but he could make something of himself and become an All-American. And I remember that a lot of the guys were sort of not sure that he, he would make it because he was so small. And, but what they didn't know was how tenacious he was. But those guys who didn't think he would make it were wrong. Boy, were they ever. Bobby Santiago won national attention for his feats as a tough, shifty, game-breaking halfback on some very good Lobo teams in the early 1960s. In 1988, Bobby was inducted into the UNM Sports Hall of Honor, introduced by another Lobo great, Mike Roberts. He led the University of New Mexico to its first Western Athletic Conference football championship in 1962. He was so spectacular that he is one of four Lobos to ever have his jersey retired. Number 42. I think it's important to remember the accomplishments of guys like Bobby Santiago decades ago because decades ago UNM was an even smaller school and we didn't have a lot of resources. We didn't have a lot of national recognition. But we accomplished those kind of things because we had guys with great heart and ability, but great heart, and that's what Bobby had. As a senior, Bobby was third-team All-America selection by UPI upon his graduation. He held the following records. 341 rushes for 2,032 yards and 20 touchdowns, breaking all three of Don Perkins' marks. Average yards per carry of 5.8, total offense, 2,116 yards. Most kickoff returns and yardage, longest scoring kickoff return, 97 yards. And the longest run from scrimmage, 91 yards. Still a University of New Mexico record. And when I saw my picture on the wall at UNM, I was really surprised. It was a big honor. However, I, could, I always had, you know, why me? Because all of these other guys that played before me, were also really probably better than I was. I think one thing is he was modest about it all. He did a good job, and I'm sure he knew he did a good job. I mean, all I had to do was read the newspaper ever so often, but he did a good job. But the thing is that uh, he knew it and he gave back to the community. When Bobby graduated, he focused his talents on New Mexico's kids, serving as a teacher, coach, school board member, and community leader, devoting special attention to helping his two alma maters, UNM and Albuquerque High. The University of New Mexico took a chance on a skinny five foot eight inch kid who lived just down the street from the football stadium. Now his image is a permanent part of that stadium, a tribute to a truly legendary Lobo. You know, I feel I've been in a card game for 47 years of my life. And God has dealt me an incredible hand. You know, God also gave me something that I really feel strongly about, and that was outstanding role, role models. George Freiberg, who's sitting back there. And you know what? He also gave me a wild card. And that wild card was the opportunity of a scholarship at UNM. Um, I feel blessed. I feel fortunate to be a UNM letterman. Thank you very much.